Hi, this is Jeff Greenberg, and we're going to talk about track automation here in Premiere Pro on the audio mixer. Now, the automation happens to have four different modes. Read, which is the default. It reads from what's on the timeline. Write, which is what you're going to pick to write keyframes down to the timeline. Now, after write, what you probably are going to want is touch. Touch what's there, but when I let go, set it back to what I wrote to begin with. Last, you have latch, which will when you're, you've already written keyframes, will act as if you keep the actual slider in place, latching it down, writing over what's there. So let's see how these work. For this, I want to, again, stress this idea here down on my timeline, which I'm going to maximize. I'm on a 720 screen, so I'm just going to go ahead here and hit my Grav key. I want to really reinforce this idea that these are not set to the clip. You can't record to the clip. You can only record to the tracks themselves. And I'm going to use the track tool, that's the A tool, just to show you that I can select this and hit delete. You'll notice with nothing on it, there is that line, meaning we can set keyframes. That's the beauty of this automation to recording to a track, is if you go ahead and record it, say to this piece of music here, if you decide to exchange it to replace that with a different piece of music, it's going to keep all those keyframes perfectly ducked down to where you're, from where your audio is. All right. So... What I'm going to go ahead and do here, I'm going to switch back to my V, my selector tool. I'm going to unmaximize this. I could just set this for recording, but as I said, I'm on a limited screen. I think this is one of the beauties of Premiere Pro's workspaces, is I've built something called Max Mixers, where I've got these real nice huge mixers. You can see the music track that I'm going to go ahead and record into. With this nice and set up, I'm going to set my timeline. I want to make sure, again, that I set the track keyframes, my playheads at the beginning. I'm going to set this from reading the keyframes, which there are none, to writing. The moment I do this, when I hit play, I'll go ahead and I'll ride my levels live. I was trained in science, brain science, and I've tracked theology, biblical theology. Each makes radical claims on reality. I've gone and I've just hit stop. You can see in my timeline, there's just a lot of keyframes here. And this is the whole idea of what we're doing, is that we're able to record these in. If you find these to be a little too many keyframes, I'll point out here in Premiere Pro's Preferences under Audio, that you can change the minimum time of these keyframes. And you might want to take it from 20 milliseconds to, say, 200. This is going to be mm, about a fifth of a second or so, meaning that you'll have a lot less keyframes when you hit right. I'm going to go ahead here and put this back. Please notice it's a touch. I'm going to set it to right again. I'm going to hit record. On reality. Science averse to be the only... I said record, of course. I meant play. I hit play, and you can see that it's put regular keyframes and much less of them there. Notice it's been set to touch. Well, this is a setting from the panel up here that it switches to touch after right. This is beautiful because I can go and just fix one section and then it returns to what it was before. I've touched the keyframes. Let's go ahead and just back this up and re-record that. Or replay it, recording new keyframes. Each makes radical claims on reality. Science averse. And you can see it's made those changes but retained what was there before. Let's do that one more time. Each makes radical claims on reality. Now, this time, I'm going to, instead of setting it to touch, show you how the way latch works. When I go ahead and I hit, re hit play, when it, wherever I leave the knob at, it'll stay there as if it was latched. So I'll hit play. Science averse to be the only way to know the physical world. And when I stop this, you can see two keyframes, one the prior position where it was set to, and two, the one that's just before it. It's just a small sample before it. It's the latched version we're looking at. So this is Premiere Pro's automation mixer. Four different modes. Read, which you're normally set to. Write, which you do your initial record. Touch to make little touch-ups. And latch, if you want to leave that latch down as it plays back, keeping it permanently at that level.